Alright, so uh, there is this little monkey fella who had a sword stuck in his neck. Hi, Carl, what are you talking about? No, no, he, he had a sword stuck in his neck. And, uh, honest to God, honest to God, somebody came along and knocked the sword, and uh, the monkey's head just fell off. Carl, Carl, what are you talking about, Carl? That, that didn't happen. Oh, no. But then the monkey got up and started carrying around his head. Just all nonchalantly like that. <laughs> uh, I swear, the, uh, the boss fight last time could have been came straight out of uh, the Ricky Gervaiso segment with uh, Carl talking about monkeys. All right. I don't know my horrible impressions are over. It's not even an impression. I just wanted to do something like that. It wasn't even close to an impression. Last time we, we defeated the monkey boss, who some say is a uh, probably one of the best bosses in this game. Uh, I don't know. It it's it's an okay boss. I like the second phase more than the first phase because something about something about uh, blocking a giant monkey's punches with your sword is just seems really weird to me. Like I don't know why it's possible, but when he when he when he pulls out the sword, then I feel like it becomes a lot more easier to do. Anyway, this is the whole re this is the whole reason why we came here. This is where uh, this is where apparently the fountainhead waters all come down to. They all trickle down to like this area right here, and this is one of the ingredients we need to sever immortality. The Lotus of the Palace. A white lotus flower found blooming in the depths of the sunken valley where the fountainhead waters pull deeply. The flower's aroma attracts female apes. Thus the guardian ape carefully tended to it so as to offer it to his bride. One of the incense ingredients sought by the divine air for immortal severance. So, we need that. So, that's the whole reason why we came down here. I could have grabbed that last time, but I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> Plus, I had to do the Carl bit about the monkey, the little monkey fellow with his, who got his head cut off. All right. Um, speaking about monkey fellows, actually, uh, what do we want to do? You know, we can actually, I guess we can give this to Kuro, I suppose. There's no reason not to. Because what we're actually going to be doing next... We're not going to we're not gonna grab the next thing. But we're going to grab something else. I don't know why I'm being vague about this. Because I don't, I don't know a lot of people who will be watching this for the first time. Wow, this is loading very slowly. Then again, I did load to, like, a bad place. Because when you load to the top of the castle, it has to load everything around it. So, yeah, it has to load everything like this. So, <laughs> so spawning up here probably isn't the best idea. I should I should have uh, went to right here. Hey. Oh, Kandon. Yep. Alright, and Lord Kuro is still over here, right? Oh, look at him. He's actually sitting down reading. Looks like they, they reuse his, his animation that, uh, uh, when we first saw him. Actually, I don't think I've ever... I don't think I've ever actually seen him, like, be this way. みこさん、源の子の花、手に入れました。それ。流院の巫女の血。つまり私の血だ。苦労様の血。ですが、それは流れぬはず。
か流院の巫女とはそうしたものだだが源一郎殿の居室でタケル様の故障の指揮を見つけてな何か血を流す術があるようなのじゃひとまずこれをそなたに渡しておこう Oh, actually coming to see him was a good idea. An old diary entry written by Takaru's Pades. Lord Takaru, yeah, Lord Takaru held his arm over the incest burner and attempted to cut it with the sword. But incredibly, his wound healed instantly and not a drop of blood was said. Lady Tomoe said, without it, your blood cannot be spilled. What could she be referring to? Hmm. <laughs> Oh god, we're gonna have lots of talking again, aren't we? Listen, I already know what we need to do, but I guess And honestly, I don't need to do this, but I guess we'll we'll see the dialogue. It's <laughs> just like why do you want to do that? Mortal Severance Scrap Part of Book of Immortal Severance left behind by Takeru With mortal blade in hand, my blood may be said with my blood, the aroma will be complete. The divine realms will be in wreaths. The moral severance will be on hand. I must ask Tomoe to be in my band. I mean, beheading. All right, well, looks like I gotta go back and tell him, even though he's like five feet away. Hey, guess what Emma said? Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah, the mortal blade. Okay, so that is just for clarification. It is Simpo. You know, it is Simpo Temple. It's not Simpao. But if it's Simpo, then why is, why is there a U at the end? That confuses me. That's not fair. It's Simpo, but there's a U at the end, so it makes me think it's something completely different. Alright. Well, I mean, I was going to head over there anyway, so I guess it's good that this is the path that the aim wants us to actually go. And it's nice because we've actually already cleared out Simpo Temple, so we can just head straight there. We can head straight there. This is actually the place where we found that old guy who actually talked to us. And he gave us that uh, thing. Because the thing is, is that if you come here after saving Kuro, then the old guy with a bunch of bugs coming out of him isn't going to be here anymore. He, he's not here. Uh, which is why I wanted to go here first before saving Kuro, just to show you that he is there. Because I know that a lot of people probably, they probably saved Kuro first and then came here when they learned about the sword or something. So that's why I wanted to show that. Anyway, now that uh, now that that guy's gone, we can actually do this.
猿が三匹一つはからかUse of Hall Bale. A five pronged bale made of aged bronze can be used repeatedly when wrong monkeys and wolves alike are returned to their initial states. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape. So basically, this bale just kind of resets everybody's positions. And this is a really cool area. Dude, I mean, look at that. We have a waterfall falling in from the sky through that house and like coming out. Uh, coming out like the bottom. It's that's really cool. This area is really nice. This is I really like this area This is also the area fun fact that if you watch in the speed run of this game This is the area where like in and that certain part of mounts of Mount Simpo that I showed you uh, This is the area where if you like jump in a certain spots you can clip out of bounds fall can you can fall through the through the level geometry keep falling straight down over and over and over again and uh you'll eventually end up here so this whole area is actually uh loaded way underneath simpo temple which is pretty pretty cool and i guess it's the halls of illusion which would make sense それならば屏風に書かれた猿たちを捕まえなされさすれば巫女様のお声がかかりましょうや OK I don't, I don't need to ask about that 私は言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉を言葉をそんなふうにああかつてあなたと同じく使命あるものがおりましたしばらく猿たちを追いかけていたと思いますがいつか静かになりましたそなたが猿たちをつかむ I'm not sure who he's referring to honestly but here we go、um... I'll show you real, real fast. I'll, tell, I'll kind of let you in on the gimmick of this area. He actually tells you, so I'll just give you a quick explanation.、Uh, Purple Monkey has really good eyesight, as you can see that he's looking. But it's, it's funny that the, that the monkey who has really good eyesight is apparently needs glasses, so I don't know.、Uh, Green Monkey has really good hearing, so he can like, hear you coming from all distances, so syncing up on him is hard. And then the Orange Monkey is just. The jerk of everything, and he, uh. Oh, look, there he is up there. He's listening to me talk crap about him. Yeah, the green monkey is the jerk, and he actually alerts everybody else, all the other monkeys. He runs away like a, like a, like a jerk. So we need to find a way to get these monkeys to. Well, die. <laughs> Honestly, we had to kill the monkeys. Uh, okay, here we go. Look. So we have the green monkey right here. What we're supposed to do, we're supposed to like come down here. There's a bell and that little alcove down there. I don't know if you can really see. It's where my sword is pointing at. Oh, yeah, see, there, yeah, right there where that little white line is. There's a bell right there that's supposed to deafen, uh, make a deafening sound. Oh, he's, he heard me. I don't know if he's gonna do anything about it. It's supposed to make like a deafening sound, right? And that's supposed to let you sneak up on the hearing monkey. But what I found is that if he gets in this area right down here. Is he still there? He is. You can just do like. No, monkey! Why? He's running up here, and this area up here. I guess I should use the bell then. I guess, I, see, the thing is that I knew I got lucky. 
when I when I killed them the first time that way because that's how I did it the first time and I knew I got lucky. Below is an abyss, a bomb cannot be seen. Above is darkness, so nothing can be seen. So this is where you can kind of lure. There's a couple places to lure the monkeys that to your advantage. But this guy is hearing, so he. Oh, this is a seeing monkey. He sits right here. Okay. Well, there, there's a seeing monkey. We killed him in a dark area. There's another dark area here that we could have lured him into. And luckily, the, the monkeys kind of leave trails to uh, where they are. So it's not that hard to find them. Uh, is this area special in any way? I don't think it is. I don't think this area is special in any way. However, the area down here, this is another darkness area, so it's a bunch of mud, but... Oh, was it not? Oh, it's not in this area. Okay. My bad. But the the place with the waterfall, the waterfall is, uh, is pretty cool because there's a sign here that says... The noise of the roaring waterfall is deafening. Surely no one will hear anything else in here. Yeah, okay. Which kind of begs the question, why is this monk standing so close to the deafening waterfall? You know, if, if everything is so quiet here. And finally, uh, we have this area over here. Which you can open up the door. So, hold on, I'll show you. A bare flame in the wind, and when it goes out, this place becomes dark as night. I don't know where this flame's supposed to be, but if you open up this door... Then I guess it, like, blows out the fire, and it becomes dark in here. So... That's another place where you can lure the seeing monkey to, but I, I mean, I guess we got really lucky when... The seeing monkey was already in that little place up there. And then, but the thing is that there's a there's like another monkey here that creates these illusion monkeys. The illusion monkeys. Alright, I wonder if we can, like, lure... Okay, the green monkey's on that tree again. I kind of wonder if we can lure him towards where the bell is again. Hey! Oh my god! Wow! I killed the... Gr I killed the hearing monkey! He didn't get away from me in time! Oh yeah! That's right. Even though he could hear me coming, he couldn't do anything about it. Wow. That's the second time I've killed the green monkey without without doing it the proper way. So this is what I was talking about earlier. The bell is deafening. Ringing it recklessly will also make your ears ring. So the, bait, the thing you're supposed to do is that when the green monkey is up there, you're supposed to ring the bell. And it's supposed to be a thing like, oh no, he's it's deafening, and uh, you can you can jump up to the green monkey and he won't run away as easily. Now, unfortunately, we still have the orange monkey here. Oh, he's just the uh, he's a speaking monkey, so he just alerts everybody else about when you're coming. Oh, they're giving me spook. They're giving me the fright. Uh, he's over here, isn't he? So that's all three monkeys. But of course, as we've seen, there's a fourth monkey here. That we need to deal with. Of course, I don't know where that is. It's also, it's also cool you, that you can get up here as well. Alright, hello, ghost monkeys. Alright, so there was a little ghost monkey fella who, uh, hit some other ghost monkey fella. Carl, what are you talking about? I don't know, I don't know. 
Carl. That's that's not possible, mate. You, you there's no such thing as ghost monkeys. Oh no no no, there is. I we saw it in the game. You know, it made perfect sense. Carl, Carl, what are you talking about, mate? I think if you see the merchant a little bit better than Ricky Gervais, I don't know how you can do that voice well. Oh my god. Uh, if I'm not careful, I'm gonna die of, uh, spooked. Okay, come on guys, seriously. Can you please let me drink the spook juice there we go oh I'm dead anyway I'm dead the monkeys killed me I don't know where the ringleader is I was ganged up I don't know where the ringleader is. I actually don't know how to fight, how to where to get this monkey is. I think I just kind of stumbled across him last time. I gotta go back there. If I have to do that all again, uh, I'm not gonna be happy. I do. Oh, that's how you're supposed to kill the green one. You ring the bell, he gets, uh, he gets stunned. Wow. Oh my god, look, there he is! And thus we get a Shinobi execution for killing a monkey. For killing four monkeys. Alright, well, that was fun. <laughs> That's, I don't know why, it's so hilarious. I can't forget them, they killed me. Yeah, so I guess I, uh, I didn't understand that the fourth monkey was just supposed to be in invisible. I guess I didn't understand that, because like I said, when I did this the first time, I, uh, I, I somehow killed the monkey that creates the, the, the ghost monkeys. Oh, yeah. I somehow killed that monkey just by accident. Like, I stumbled across him. I didn't really understand why. But I killed him, and I guess the reason why the fourth screen is blank is because he, he's invisible. Uh, the following screen monkeys guarded the Hall of Illusions and befriended the Divine Child of Rejuvenation. Alright, cool. We will speak to him in the next video, because I guess we can cut it off right here, because it's been like 25, 26 minutes.